are with the marvelous Amber Gray from Hades Town the Musical. I have been in love with your performance since the New York Theater Workshop. Mm. How has that changed from the New York Theater Workshop to now, from London to now? Yeah. <laughs> From London to now has had the least changes. It's just little tweaks here and there and more of a, a tightening up of the show. From New York Theatre Workshop to now, huge differences. We've gotten out of the round in a Greek amphitheatre and onto a proscenium stage, but there's still elements of yeah, that was shocking, the round actually. and the circles. It's shocking. It took it, I, for me, spent most of Canada, which is the second production, physically getting out of the round and learning how to be flat again, you know? Uh, those growing pains were intense. <laughs> and um, In Canada, we figured out we could never be literal about things because it's a piece of poetry. Can't take things literally, it just kills the poetry of it. Um, We've added a workers' chorus, which is incredible. It's really deep in the politics of the play, which I'm so Yeah, I never saw into. politics in the play at New York Theatre Workshop. Yeah, Workshop. they are alive and well. Yeah, like, they were there before, really? but they just weren't as <laughs> obvious, you know, because we, as the named characters, Orpheus, Eurydice, Persephone, and Hermes, sang all of those worker parts before. So now we have a separate oh. chorus to do that. So it's just crystal clear and pretty magical. Um, yeah, those are the biggest ways that it's changed, which are huge, you know. Where have we seen you before? Hades Town New York Theatre Workshop. Um, well, I've been working on this show for a, long time. for a few years. I worked on Great Comet for a few years. I worked on an Octoroon for a few years. I, I've been in uh, shows that keep having other iterations, which is very cool. I, I honestly think you're gonna get at least a ton of recognition for this role. Hope so. You are awesome. seriously, insanely talented. Thank you. What of uh, Amber is in this role? <laughs> um, well, I really love the music, and I sing it. I, you know, how I want to sing it. <laughs> <laughs> like if I were singing it, you know, at a night cabaret, I sing it in a way that turns me on, and I, and luckily that has now aligned with the character of Persephone and the making of that character. Um, I think I, when I'm my best self, and in a good way, I'm a lot like Persephone in that I love people and I love having a good time with them. I love to hang out with people and just share food, share drink, um, and I find her relationship very accurate as well, that it's rich and complicated and three-dimensional, they fight well, they make up well, uh, I find that true to my relationships so far. Yeah, you guys have great chemistry together. Yeah, yeah, but it feels honest in that it's not all perfect, you know? Who influenced you in your musical style? that I know how to answer that question. I'm more, I don't read music, so all growing up I learned everything by ear, which sometimes I'm grateful for because I don't see a note on a page, I'm not scared of something that's high or low, I just physically figure out how to do it. And sometimes that is a very, um, that requires some facial contour contorting, uh, <laughs> or, or some tension somewhere else in the body. Um, it's just sort of come out over time to physically figure out how to sing songs. And now that I do know how to sing and have been properly trained, I, people often say that I remind them of certain singers, but it, it's never an intentional thing. I was never trying to copy those particular people. Let me guess, you can also hear a piece of music and memorize it instantaneously? Yeah, it's pretty quick. It's pretty quick, yeah. I totally understand the yeah, musicality. Yeah. Um, what would you like people to take away from your character from this show? Uh, if you put in the work, you can always have a second chance.